Chris Van Vliet in Fort Lauderdale, Ring of Honor alongside Bully Ray, and well, it's good to see you. Thank you. I guess, right? I don't know. Is it good to see me? I think it's good to see you. Well, then thank you. Uh, you're here tonight, but uh, officially retired now, so it's the first yeah. time we've spoken since uh, retirement. How do you feel about everything? Um, I'm, I'm really not <laughs> ecstatic that I had to retire, but it is what it is, and things happen. And as I've said in many different interviews and I've said in the Ring of Honor ring, I'm just happy and I thank God that I got to be a Ring of Honor for the amount of time that I got to be here. Um, I'm going to be sticking around with Ring of Honor, helping out in the back, um, helping out some of the younger guys, uh, trying to help them to grow. Um, it's great to be here in the War Memorial because uh, this is uh, what's considered a Bubba building. Uh, <laughs> I found the Fort Lauderdale War Memorial for ECW back in the day, and I'm wow. the one that brought ECW here. So cool to be in this building. I wish I was wrestling in this building, uh, but uh, kind of forced into retirement. So is what it is. Your retirement speech, though, it, it brought tears to my eyes. Did you have that planned out, or was that just talking off the top of your head? I don't plan anything that I'm going to say. <laughs> when you plan stuff, it comes across the wrong way. I go to the ring, and I say say what I feel. And uh, I wasn't even supposed to be on, like, those shows in Buffalo and in uh, Ohio and in Chicago. Ring of Honor told me, you know, you need to take the time off. You need to rest. And as much as I would have kind of liked to stay home, I said, man, I can't do that to those cities because those are like cities that I got my start in, especially with ECW. I'm like, Buffalo and Chicago, those were, you know, those are, you know, big cities for me. Yeah. So I, I, I felt it necessary. And then that night in Chicago, I kind of knew, I was like, it, it really, it, this is kind of the end of the line. So uh, Chicago is like one of the, you know, that exact building, you know, we did flaming tables for the first time and it, it was a cool building. So I said, if I can't go out in, you know, my backyard in New York, or if I can't go out in Philly, which where is where I got my start, I mean, the absolute best place would be Chicago. So, you know, and, and you're not the first man to say that they cried <laughs> when they heard my speech. Was that just a random kid you picked out of the crowd? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> With Ring of Honor, it's weird. There, you know, so many, there's so many grown-ups here because it's, you know, kind of more, you know, adult-oriented. Yeah, but I saw that his name is Chase. Um, yeah. I, I won't forget his name because, you know, he was, uh, you know, he was, he was important to me that night because it, it, it's so hard to thank every single fan. I mean, I can sit in a ring and go, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. But when you are the kind of performer that I am and you come up in wrestling the way I do and you appreciate fans, you want to be able to shake their hand and look at them in the eye and say thank you to every single person. Can't do it. So, Jace... Uh, represent everybody that night. So uh, I'm glad that uh, we got to have that moment. Well, working here is so close with a lot of the wrestlers in Ring of Honor. For the guys that are coming up, what's the best advice that you have for them? Get over. How? However? Get over. Huh. I don't care what it takes. I don't care if you crap into your own hand and throw it into the <laughs> fifth row. As long as you can get over. That's the advice. Oh, a lot, so many young guys ask me, what should I do? Well, how should this and that and that? Get over over make the people be interested in you make them be emotionally invested in you make them laugh make them cry make them cheer make them boo do something get over listen you can go in the ring and you can do a flip and a dive and a this and a that and mm -hmm. they'll go ooh and they'll go ah but so many guys are doing that I'd like to see guys get over more because they're using the entire range of emotions that a human being, ha you know, has. Yeah. But that's really it. Get over. Do whatever it takes. Who do you think's the most over worker right now in Ring of Honor? This entire company is over. Yeah. You can't, there's no way that I could pick any one particular person. I will tell you that Ring of Honor has the most organically over act on the planet right now, and that's the Young Bucks. You know, guys like the Bucks, the Bullet Club, Omega, Cody, Marty, those guys are, they're stupid over because they did it on their own. They didn't have the machine behind them. You know, I was talking with one of my co-hosts on Busted Open Radio, and um, he said that he believed that the Shield was the most over group 
and you know the, the most iconic group of the past 10 years and I said man I totally disagree with you I said it's the bullet club it's the young bucks it's the elite I said because they did it on their own and they're known on a worldwide level I don't see kids walking around with shield shirts I see them walking around with bullet club shirts I see them with young buck shirt those guys to me in this company you ask the question who's like the most over Guys like that. And then you got a pure homegrown guy like Dalton Castle yeah. who's doing, uh, you know, incredible things. You definitely could not pick one person out of this company. Yeah, I'll turn it back on you. Who do you think is? Uh, man, I think with what's going on right now with Kenny Omega and Jericho, that's probably the biggest story in wrestling right now. Yeah, the, you didn't ask me what the biggest story in okay. wrestling was. Then, you <laughs> asked me who was the most over guy in Ring Bucks. of Honor. Bucks are the most over. Okay, there you go. But, you know, Omega versus Jericho, no doubt. Huge news. It's going to be a phenomenal match in the Tokyo Dome. Happy to have Kenny as a part of Ring of Honor. So it's, it's going to be awesome. Do you remember the moment when you first went over? When you went, oh, my God, this is working. As a baby face in ECW, when I started stuttering and dancing, monster, monster. I mean, people were so into it, so into it. And that lasted for about a year, and then I actually had to wrestle, and I was the shits back then. Um, not very good now, but I'm really good at my smoke and mirrors. Um, uh, so um, I, I knew it was over then. But then once I saw the chemistry that me and Devon had, I... I knew that me and Devon had something. And this is when we were facing each other. Me and Devon had wars against each other before we ever got together. But I knew that we had such great chemistry against each other. I said, man, we're going to have such great chemistry together. And I remember the night in the ECW arena, I went to Paul and I went to Dreamer. And I said, listen, I think this can work and give us a shot. And they said, OK, let's run with it. And the rest is really history. How long till you and Devon are in the Hall of Fame? Uh, me, I don't care about the Hall of Fame. Really? I don't care about any wrestling Hall of Fame. My Hall of Fame, I, go, I get inducted into the Hall of Fame every single night I go through that curtain. This is my Hall of Fame. Mm. It's, it's the fans. It's the people that we wrestle in front. If they're cheering, if they're booing, if they're laughing, crying, if they're throwing tomatoes at my head, I don't care what, that's the Hall of Fame to me. I don't need anything else, and I've never really needed anything else. Not that being inducted into the TNA Hall of Fame wasn't nice, or that if the WWE ever wanted to induct us, it wouldn't be nice, because I don't want to be selfish about it. I know the people would enjoy that. So if the day comes, okay, great, cool. If the day never comes, I'm not losing an ounce of sleep over it. Because like I said, every single night I'm in front of an audience. Every single night I have been in front of an audience. That's the Hall of Fame to me. It's going to happen very soon. Appreciate your time. You got it, man. Good to see you, brother. You got it. Thanks. Thank you.